Welcome to a day in the life of van life with Anthrit. Oh, it's time for something a little freaky! Oh yeah! As you can see here, I did make some changes. I got a little TV. I originally was gonna mount it up there, but I like the idea of being able to move it around. I can turn it this way, face the couch bed, or I can face it this way uh, towards the door and sit outside and watch TV, or I can just move it anywhere, set it on that table and put it somewhere else. I like it that way. Only problem is I have to put it down on the floor with some of the pillows when in transit, but not a big deal. However, having that compartment opened up a lot of space. That TV was blocking a lot of storage space. Well, you can't see it because I don't have a light on me and I know how lighting and video works, yeah, 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 but trust me, there's a lot of space that was like behind here, behind here, all the way to the front of the vehicle. I can store a lot of stuff up in here. I got my pots and pans, my little stove thingy back there. Yeah, you can't see it because I don't have a light. Uh, let's go ahead and start the day by making some coffee. Ooh, yeah. This should be interesting at this park. Let's go Yogi Bear miniature golfing. <laughs> I haven't played miniature golf in a very long time. Well, I smoked her on that. I got 56 and she got 73. <laughs> that was fun. And now we're gonna have a soft pretzel with cheese. Decided to check out the arcade here. Just wanted to see if they had anything cool and retro, but there's not much here. That's it. Probably the only one that looks interesting here that I would play is Mario Kart. Come on, honey. Yeah, you might want to actually stay on the track. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. So close. You won. Wanna try? Old Faithful. Hmm. This looks like it's just taking a piss. Hmm. Cool. The County Line Orchard here in Hobart, Indiana, I think is how you say it. Where are we? It's like a big place. Wow. Cool. And this is where we're going to check in at for our pass. One dollar to get in, it looks like. So, yeah, there you go. Bee yurts. What's in here? I'm guessing there's bees in there. Oh yeah, there they are, right there. Coming in and out of there. Here's the bees. Get on the tractor. Cool. Cool. There's orchards over there. Wonder what kind of, what kind of apples are out there. Oh, it's got little signs on there, I see it. Looks like we can pick around here, so I don't know. They gave us a bag, and here's some honey crisp. And they're saying that this one's the one that's in season right now, so let's go, let's go pick some apples here. All right, pick that apple, honey. Get it, can you reach it? Pull that apple off of the tree. Mm-hmm. Put it in the sack. Nice. These ones are the snow sweet. Problem is, if we get so many of them, how am I gonna know which is which? Size maybe? This is the sunflower patch. What we got going on here? Oh my goodness, look at these sunflowers. They're two dollars a piece, but I don't know what I would do with one. I'm not a big fan of sunflowers to begin with, or seeds, you know? But for some people, probably would be pretty good to get one. What I'm gonna do, just look at it. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. I don't know if they're in season or not. They're tiny right now, but still, maybe a month from now, they'll be really, really, really big. And if you want to, do a corn maze. Next to a big, uh, what is that? Oh, that's, that's a soy bean, okay. With the gummy bear in it. And then they have the corn one over here. And the corn maze is conveniently located right next to the porta potties, in case you piss yourself in there. 
Man, there's apples here for days. Just look at this. If you had just like two of these trees in your backyard, you'd be set almost all, all you know, summer at least. And just before you exit, you got the Bill Gates kind. Oh no, not Bill Gates. Steve Jobs, sorry. And then it ends in the gift shop. I think we got plenty of apples here to munch on for like a week. It's gonna be good. And this is where you pay. Yeah. County Line Orchard. Yes, it is worth the day trip. Check it out if you're ever in Northwest Indiana. What should I do this evening? Play some Super NES Mini? Have a campfire and watch some YouTube? Or cook some dinner over here? Yeah, this time we're set up a little bit different. We've got the small tent inside the big tent because the other tent was just overkill. And then we got our, got our little pavilion area, barbecue, small cooking space over there. Not beer for tonight. Yep, it's a tent, and right next to this tent, the door that opens up and it goes into the van. What in the world is this all about? Antler proudly presents. Oh, yeah. But fucked RV. It's totally fucked. Fucked. So let's give you a tour of the new RV. It is the J-Flight um, SLX 195RB. So let's go ahead and give you a tour. As we enter here, there's the Mr. Buddy heater. I only turn it on when I first come into the trailer or early in the morning when we wake up to kind of just boost the heat a little bit. But yeah, here it is. Here's home sweet home. We're gonna call it Buttfucked RV 2.0 since you know, still got the van, it's still set up for camping. Therefore, we can use it for camping. By the door, here's my kippy picture. We put that right there. Up here is storage, and of course we utilize these from the RV. This is where the cups go. Over here is just, I don't know, random odds and ends right now. Comes with a radio, and it's connected Bluetooth to my phone. That way, you know, I can listen to music on my phone, which is really neat. Speakers kind of suck in here, but eh, it's better than nothing. Here's the workstation slash kitchen table. Editing a video. On the table, we've got our two figures, my wife's Conan and my Miku I got in Japan. Creeper, that little lamp thing. Yeah, if you watch the Japan vlogs, you know what that's all about. And then the weather station there. Kitchen area. This is a little stiff, but this is the main pantry where we can put snacks, food, and our silverware and paper plates and bowls and whatnot. This is our two burner stove. Only problem, it doesn't have an oven, but we really don't use an oven, so it's no biggie. That's the power, that's the furnace. This is the two burner stove. Great for one pot right now and our kettle for heating up water. We've got a microwave, ooh. Yeah, it's a microwave. Here is the thing that tells you how much stuff is in the tanks and all that. And I don't really use it because we've been plugged in since we've had it with sewage and all that. So that has not been an issue. Of course, you got your faucet, a little tiny sink. There's our Berkey water filter. Don't ask me about that. Hmm, yeah, I'm a special kind of crazy. This is the entertainment area. Got my Super NES Mini. Um, believe it or not, we can hook up to the antenna, so we get like 20 stations in the area we're at right now. Uh, that's a Pokeball for Pokemon Let's Go. Uh, the switch is back here. With a bunch of wiring, yeah, the TV kind of hides it, but it's the best I can do. For now, anyways. I might come up with something later on in the future. This is another pantry. Great for trash, spare water, propane, cleaners, that sort of stuff. This is the fridge. It's a Dometic, I think it's a two-way. It does gas and electric. Not much room, but it's enough to hold what I need, which is some beer and some food. Yeah, some of the basic necessities. It's a refrigerator, I say. 
that's the main heater since we're plugged into electric why not use the electric heater i love this little heater it used to be in my office or the slash studio that's the dog's uh, safe space area we had to get that for him because yeah when we first moved here we got tired of coming home to the, the place completely trashed and he was he was not being good so we had to get him his own kennel unfortunately of course he had that at home before but we tried to trust him but he was being bad but you know he stays in there just by himself it's his like i said it's his safe space this is the bed or bedroom reason why i chose this trailer was because it had a queen size bed no fold outs none of that there is storage underneath you can access the storage from outside or lift up the bed it's better to go from outside because lifting the bed's a pain in the butt got a curtain here so if you want to you know divide the space you can a little bit of privacy on each side this is not mine that's my wife so ignore that that's her area her closet and her other hello kitty thing up there is our stuffed animal collection yeah there's spike and everyone else fluffy the survivors of the main course some pikachu some pokemons and uh yeah all that all that good stuff is up there this is my side as you can see i've been studying for my cdl so i leave my book there there's my Pepwave router, which supplies Wi-Fi, and it gets the main Wi-Fi from up there. That is the Jetpack Unlimited. It's about $70 a month. Um, Wi-Fi hotspot. Unlimited so far. I mean, it's it's they Verizon just brought it back, so we'll see how it goes. And there's my Candyland picture. This thing I found in the mall called Think Geek was the name of the store, and I bought this little classic Game Boy alarm clock. Two more doors to check out. This is the main closet. We got organized, you know, got one of these shoe racks. I saw this on many YouTubes. They were great for holding, you know, random stuff and junk. It's perfect. And of course, it also holds shoes. We got one of these, what do you call it? Organizer racks for all the odds and extra stuff. Dirty laundry down there. And our coats and stuff to hang up there. Now for the bathroom. This is what you all came here for, right? Is to see the bathroom. That's where uh, you can take a shit. This is where you can look at yourself in the mirror. Towel rack, vent, shower, shower head. The shower has a little skylight. It actually just helps because when you stand up, my head does go up in there. And a bathtub. Well, there you have it. There's the tour, a butt fucked RV 2.0. We'll see what adventures and journey goes from here. Right now, we're just staying in one area. We're gonna work to make some money and hopefully try for the nomadic job of getting my CDL in the future. <sighs> Been a lot going on, so throughout the winter, we'll see where it goes. Go on local adventures, see what's going on around here. It'll be fun. So this has been Anthony from Antler, and from this time and every time on, folks, keep on clicking on my butt-fucked RV. Oh, okay, I won't steal that from Mark. This is Anthony from Antler, signing off. This is a dog. You ever seen one before? They're quite interesting creatures. Right, dog? Hey, dog. Dog. Doggy. Doggy.